Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do a free code camp tutorial on Redux. Create a Redux store. So what Redux is, you probably heard about this before. It's pretty popular, but you might not understand what it is. And it's a state management framework. And it could be used with a number of different te web technologies. And the, one of the most popular ones is used with is with React. And managing state. So what does state mean? Just to recap, state is something that you keep track of it during your application. It's better to think of it with examples, like are you logged in or logged out? So if you're logged in, you wanna have show like a log out button in the nav bar. But if you're logged out, you wanna say have a login button on the nav bar and your app will conditionally render based on if you're logged in or logged out. Another example is light mode or dark mode. So you can have your app be in light mode and have the screen in white or have it in dark mode and have the background screen be black. And when you're using React, each component basically has its own state. And you can, it's hard to manage all those various components as your app scales. If your app only contains like a few components, three, four, or five, it might be fine, but once it scales like more and more, it's hard to manage the state. And you can use Redux as a framework. And what it does is that it basically outsources the framework, the state into this one store. And that's the Redux store. And you'll probably hear this a lot about the single source of truth. And that is where it comes from the Redux store. And that state, is used to be accessed to the components accordingly. So in this lesson, we're gonna learn about how to make this Redux store. So basically the store holds state and we use this method called create store from Redux. So you have to NPM I Redux and then you can use it. And then what this create store, it takes in a reducer function as a required argument. So we're gonna learn about reducer later, but Generally, when you use Redux, you want to create the reducer first because we need that to create the Redux. Or you can just use a boilerplate reducer and then create the app like we are doing here. So in this exercise, it wants us to declare a store variable and assign it to create store method, passing in the reducer as an argument. Great. So what we need to do is that we need to use the method that, is, that they say. So Redux dot create store, like they said here. And we just pass in the reducer. And we're gonna learn more about the reducer throughout the lessons, but this is basically how do you create a store, which is just one aspect of Redux. And that's it for this one. Thank you so much.